Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm gonna do a reaction to SN10 flight test today. So as you all know, the first attempt was aborted, but they reattempted it and it was successful. So this is my first time, second, the relaunch today of SN10. So let's go watch it. All right, fast forward. Minus one minute and counting. All right, one Starship minute. Starship 10 continues to look good. Ready for its test flight. Roger. One minute. Okay. Eight, seven, six, five. All right, my apology four, for a shirtless video. Three, I just I finished working two, out. One, ignition. We have liftoff. So if you live in Boca Chica, this is the dream. If you, if you like rockets, if you're a tech guy, this is where you want to be. Boca Chica, Texas. T plus 30 seconds, Starship 10 has lift off. It's headed to 10 kilometers. Time. on its test flight from Boca Chica in Cameron County, Texas. 40 seconds in flight. All right, let's fast forward. All right. One of the best things watching this is doing the, when you see the, the, the spaceship or the rocket do a belly flop. That transition from vertical to belly flop, by far a sight to see. One engine off, that's intentional. All right, one engine is off. T plus three minutes and counting. Okay, now to switch over to the header tank for the one engine. Wow, that's a stable flight so yeah, far. We're gonna come back up when we hit 10 kilometers right about in three seconds. Three, two, one. Coming up on T plus four minutes. We're at 10 kilometers, we've gone into the hover. We're still being powered by the single Raptor engine. Those Raptor engines are powerful. I wonder how many tons the rocket is. Yeah, if I'm sorry about the shirtless again, I just finished working out and uh, I was excited to see this launch. Bell flop, here you go. Oh my god. SpaceX, you are a dream come true. Look at that, it's like the space shuttle landing. On T plus, four minutes and 40 seconds. Starship has transitioned, it's flipped to the horizontal mode, beginning, beginning the descent back to the landing zone. Hell yeah. All right, let's nail this SpaceX and team of engineers who, everyone in SpaceX, you guys are awesome. If you guys are watching this video, I just wanna say thank you. You guys reignited the space, you know, the whole industry. Look at that, it's so stable. Now it looks like an airplane, like a glider. Ah, oh, that's that's awesome, dude. All right, so if you guys are wondering, uh, my background is in air engineer, so watching this is phenomenal. It's awesome. I love it. So. Dude, this is a heavy Coming up on 5 minutes, 45 seconds. We're down below 2 kilometers. We're preparing to light 3 Raptor engines to begin the flip sequence. It'll culminate with landing on the landing pad in Boca Chica. Come on, let's go, SpaceX. If you all know rockets, 
Oops. Here we go. Stand by. It's, it's giving me goosebumps right now. My God, it didn't explode. Okay, all right, it's giving me goosebumps right now. After three attempts. The third time is a charm. I say again, the third time is a charm. The first time exploded, the second one exploded again, then the third time, we nailed it. I knew it, on the third time, SpaceX is gonna nail Elon, congratulations. SpaceX team, congratulations. Nerds, space nerds, rocket nerds. This is the future. <sighs> I'm shaking, I'm shaking. All right, there's that one bird right there. Third time's a charm as the saying goes. We've Third had a successful a charm, soft baby. touchdown on the landing pad. That's capping a beautiful test flight of Starship 10. Oh. As a reminder, the key point of today's test flight was to gather the data on controlling the vehicle while re-entering, and we were successful in Dude, doing so. Bro. We had a nominal ascent, we had the maneuver to place Starship horizontal when we reached 10 kilometers right on time, All right. So, and then during the subsonic entry it appears we had good control I of the vehicle Space using the front and aft flaps. Try. And as we approached the landing pad, we successfully lit the three Raptor engines to perform that flip maneuver. And then we shut down two of them and landed on the single engine as planned. SpaceX. A beautiful soft landing of Starship Dude, on the that landing is pad at Boca Chica. Landing on the pad. Also, a congratulations to the Starship team in Texas. Hell yeah. They've steadily increased the test launch cadence over the course of the program. Congratulations, SpaceX team. And have delivered some of the most exciting test flights many of us have seen in a long time. The Texas team has several more suborbital test vehicles in build, with number 11 ready to roll out to the pad in the very near future. It's an inspiring time for the future of human spaceflight. Thanks for joining us today, and we hope you'll join us for the next test flight of Starship 11. Holy s***. <sighs> Alright, so I'm gonna... blip the cuss words of course but all right spacex team elon musk congratulations if you're a rocket nerd space nerd tech nerd stem nerd it's exciting to be alive because we're advancing in rocketry space exploration all right just just take it all in being alive and watching this is a blessing all right so all right with that being said i'm gonna go upload this video tonight and uh, to my new subscribers thank you for watching uh, if you're watching this I don't care if you subscribe or not it's just this channel is about investing tech uh, gears cars you name it the things that I love and I just want to share it to you guys all right so thank you for watching if again I can't even believe congratulations SpaceX team and Elon Musk uh, third time is a charm yeah all right all right, I gotta go. I gotta go take a shower. All right, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.